So I'm logging into Mutt today. I'm trying to think to myself, all right, it's Thursday. What, what, what promos are out? Okay, we've got a uh, Thursday Night Football. Okay, that that's cool. We got Thursday Night Football heroes, Jarius Bird and Matt Forte. That's pretty dope. But I'm trying to think to myself, you know, last year and years before, we would have like two promos on the same day. That used to be awesome. Hey, we don't got that this year. But I mean, Elite Packs are in the store. That's... Yay, Elite Packs. They're here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We are gonna trash on Elite Packs just yet, but we're not gonna trash on them just yet. We have Weekend League Bronze Tier Pack. That hurts to say. Bronze Tier, that hurts to say. I seriously gotta stop playing at the last minute because that is what's been screwing me over. If you've ever played Weekend League or Madden late at night, I'd like if you're trying to do something last minute, nothing goes your way. Especially if you're doing Weekend League and you want to win 15 games in a row, there is no possible way on God's green earth you are gonna win 15 games in like five hours, it, unless you're like, make people quit during most fear time. That's the only time you're probably gonna do it. But like I said, we have new Thursday Night Football Heroes in packs. We have Matt Forte and Jarius Bird. Jarius Bird is the card to go after in this one. He is about 500K, he's got 94 zone coverage. That is probably one of the better cards I've seen. We got a San Diego Charger right there. This is an all silver pack. I don't even know why I'm taking my time in these packs because these packs are going to be buns. Trust me, this is not the only pack opening I'm doing in this video because these weekend league packs, again, like I've said, are pretty sad and pathetic. And I want to lead. And okay, so I couldn't speak that one into existence. Just make it sure. We're gonna open up 10 gold player packs to see if we can pull ourselves an elite or something good. I need something good out of these packs. Gold player packs have treated me pretty well in the past. Now it's time for them to make up for these weekend lead packs and give me some fire. First pack, we're getting a 74 and a 72 overall gold. Not the best thing I've seen, you know, because there's a Matt Forte in packs. There's a Jarius Bird in packs. So why would I want these other trash cards? I want the good cards, you know, the elites. I mean, oh, we get an elite off the bat. It's a Dustin Colquitt punter for that. Hey, man, look, I'll speak my elites into existence, but it can't be a punter, EA. What are we doing? Hey, I just noticed something with punters and kickers. Would it not be funny if EA gave one of them, like, a power-up set? That would be probably the best thing I've ever seen this company do. Just to troll everybody is give a kicker a power-up set. That kicker... Oh, another elite! And it's 80 overall Pernell McAfee. I mean... Look, it's cool y'all want to show some red in my packs, like in three packs, y'all give me two elites. That's cool. I just don't want to see those type of elites. Oh, another elite, and it's a Tory Smith. All right, see, now y'all are playing me right now. Three, four packs, and y'all give me three elites. All right, I see y'all, but I need more elites that are better like a Thursday Night Football hero. We Okay, Dory Jackson, Scary Fast, uh, 77 overall gold. This card was actually pretty good to use during the Most Feared Weekend when he actually morphed. I mean, using him was amazing. I think I had him playing at safety at the time. He was really good. He is no Dylan Cole. Shout out to those who came to that Most Feared stream because that dude was a freaking animal. That stream is still archived, so you didn't catch it. You can actually go back and watch it. I do recommend it because Dylan Cole, we get a John Ryan. I don't care about you. Moving on. That dude was a freaking beast at right outside linebacker. And let's just keep this. Oh, another elite. And it's... Hey, you know, I'm cool with that one, though, because that's a guaranteed 12K. Cam Chancellor, 80 overall, 77. My hero, another elite. 81 CJ Procise. Double elite pack and a gold player pack is pretty dope. But I don't want to see... Actually, I'll take Mutt Heroes. But CJ Procise is only like 2,000 coins. He's a football outsider that goes for 2,000 coins. I don't want to see my... Pa Another elite! 85 overall, Dwayne Brown! Okay, that one I will take. He only goes to an elite token set, but I will take another left tackle. I'm cool with the leech. Yo, packs are kind of on fire right now. Gold player packs are kind of on fire. Every pack, I've pulled at least one to two elites. This is lit. Okay, Daniel Sorensen, Terrence Mitchell. Those are two golds off the rip. Can we get a third but make it elite? It is a third gold. It's Stacy McGee. Okay, how many more do we got? We got one more gold player pack. If we could clutch us out with an elite, that would be freaking amazing. Can we do it? We gotta be like Bob the Builder. Yes, we can. Michael Orr, blindsided. And just like that, EA blindsided us into scamming us on coins. Bet. Congratulations. 
you played yourself. Now that we're done taking L's from EA, it's time to go check out the Thursday Night Football Heroes. And like I said, they are Jarius Bird and Matt Forte. Jarius Bird, again, is the card to go after if you're able to pull him. Matt Forte is already down to 325K. Not a lot considering he's a Thursday Night Football Hero. And let's check out the stats. 93 overall halfback with, I think that's move the sticks, I think? What, what chemistry is that? That's go deep and energize. Okay, the energize is pretty dope. Go deep, I have no idea what the hell that does. 89 speed, 91 agility, 92 acceleration, 92 carrying, 88 ball carry vision, 86 elusiveness, 80 trucking, and 85 juke moves. So this Matt Forte is more or less a... But while using Matt Forte, if you're able to get blocks with your offensive line, Matt Forte is pretty much good to go. He's got the energized chemistry, so if you uh, break out a stiff arm, a spin move, he'll get his stamina filled up right again. But he also has 84 catching to boot, so this guy is going to... Matt Forte is going to be incredible out of the backfield if you're going to be going for wheel routes or anything like that. He'll be perfect for checkdowns. He's catching just about everything you throw at him, especially if it's a checkdown. So Matt Forte, pretty nice card. But yeah, so Jerry's Bird, he's got Tip Jill, and I think that is, that's not Reen Rag, that's Blanket Coverage, so it boosts up his man coverage, which he's gonna need it. He has 89 speed, 91 acceleration, 92 player recognition, 78 tackling, 78 man, 94 zone. That's the thing to keep in mind here is the 94 zone coverage, 90 pursuit, and 80 hit power. I want to see what his catching is because that's going to 84 catching. Jarius Bird is a beast. And with tip drill, that helps out a lot. Again, he does have the uh, blanket coverage, which boosts up his man coverage. He's going to need that since he's at 78. But 94 zone is really what matters because a lot of people this year, you want zone. You need that so they get those great animations. They're actually able to go after the ball. But it says in week 11, 2012, Bird had four total tackles, an interception, and a fumble recovery to help the Bills beat the Dolphins 19 to 14 on Thursday night football. Jarius Bird, again, an absolute animal. And again, guys, before we go, here's a quick lineup update. A lot of the cards haven't changed from most feared, but a few people may be leaving the team, and that includes all the scary fast elites with Evan Ingram, Terry Coheen, Tavon Austin. Honestly, Evan Ingram may stay, or I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Deshaun Jackson could possibly be going. I don't know if I'm going to keep him around. I still have T.Y. Hilton's 88 overall non-auction or trade elite, so he may just get bumped up. Tavon Austin's still there. I do need to upgrade my wide receiver position. Now, Ray Lewis, I don't know whether or not I want to keep him on the team. He goes for about 600K still. Deshaun Jackson's probably 200. And then the scary fast elites are going for about 40K a pop. So if I sell all those cards, I could possibly be back um, be back at a million coins. And I'll be able to do Let's Build Arounds with the new Thursday Night Football Heroes and Jarius Bird. And uh, what's his name? Oh my god, I'm already forgetting. And Matt Forte. So again, if you guys want to see a Let's Build Around with Jerry's Bird and Matt Forte, let me know in the comments section down below. I will probably get, I would have to get rid of Ray Lewis at that point, or I would just have to sell Deshaun Jackson and all my scary fast elite players. And I'll probably do some scary fast gold to elite upgrade sets because that's also a guaranteed 40k coins. It's stupid phony math, but when you think about it, it could work. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments section down below if you opened up any packs with the Thursday Night Football players. And let me know if you pulled anything out of packs because my pack luck right today was it was kind of nice but it was also doo-doo because i got a lot of base elites and you know you can't do really anything with a tory smith or you know a dustin colquitt but you could do a lot with probably an 80 camp chancellor mutt hero and a dwayne Broward 85 overall no nope. but take it easy y'all have a safe one peace girl i've been working so hard to get further than where i'm at you can't get mad at me thanksgiving day i was cooking up music it's amusing you think i'm with family you know the music is family. If they understand, why can't you understand? Cause